The Baltimore Key Bridge collapse has people asking tonight if other major bridges are just as vulnerable. And the short answer is yes. Our Scott Broom is live in Baltimore with more on the other local bridge that is at risk. So tell us more, Scott. Well, that local bridge is the Bay Bridge. It crosses from Anne Arundel County over to Kent Island. It's the way so many of us get to the beach back and forth from the eastern shore, but it's a complicated bridge. Uh, different spans built a decade apart and spans that were built long before this modern age of mega ships like the one that hit the bridge here in Baltimore. 300 feet high and four miles long the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, with concrete pilings and aging piers dating in some cases to the 1950s. Engineering professor Adele El Safti of the University of North Florida told CNN that the design could be at risk of collapse if it's hit by a container ship like the Dolly that struck the Key Bridge in Baltimore. If once a port goes down, then the whole superstructure will go down as well and it will pull the other parts as well. It's going to have that kind of uh, catastrophic failure. The piers that support the main spans of the Bay Bridge have protected fenders, but El Safti points out that's where the protections end. There are none of the barriers known as dolphins used to blunt the force of an errant ship. I think that is what we really need to do is to design and protect design better and protect our infrastructure. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge is operated and maintained by the same agency that oversees the Key Bridge. In a statement, the Maryland Transportation Authority says after the Key Bridge collapse, it is looking at options with the U.S. Coast Guard on the feasibility of increased pier protections for the Bay Bridge and what's possible in the navigation channel. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said no bridge is designed for a direct hit from a ship like Dolly. This is a, a unique circumstance. Uh, I do not know of a bridge that has been constructed to withstand a direct impact from a vessel of this size. Maryland figures show that each year, 27 million vehicles drive across the Bay Bridge with as many as 1,800 ships passing underneath. Chesapeake Bay Charter Captain Frank Carver sees many of them. Sometimes we do at least four times a day, if not sometimes ten times a day, you know, fishing all around it at the Bay Bridge. So there's some concern here, and that concern is spread up in Delaware. Up in Delaware, they're already working on modifications to the giant Delaware Memorial Bridge up there. Uh, they're building those things called dolphins that you saw in our report at a cost of $100 million. The construction's already underway. It'll be finished sometime in September. And now authorities here in Maryland are uh, confirming they're looking at uh, safety in general and perhaps may arrive at some option like that, though it's far too early to say. Back here at the Key Bridge in Baltimore, President Joe Biden expected to take a look at the very same view we're seeing here. Uh, briefing a short time ago from authorities uh, suggested that they are going to try to lift some debris out of the water before the end of the day today, weather permitting, but now it is blowing hard, so they, those plans may be back on hold. Reporting live here in Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yes, yeah, Scott, after seeing what happened to the key bridge here, hopefully they can prioritize some of those projects to protect our bridges. All right, Scott, thank you.